were asked which value for d, and we see d in this equation here, makes x equals negative 3 an extraneous solution for this radical equation. Square root of 3x plus 25 is equal to d plus 2x. And I encourage you to pause the video and try to think about it on your own before we work through it together. All right, now let's work through this together. So the first thing to just remind ourselves is what is an extraneous solution? Well, that's a solution that we get, or we think we get, but it's really just a byproduct of how we solved it, but it isn't going to be an actual solution of our original equation. Now, how do these extraneous solutions pop up? Well, it pops up when you, when you take the square of both sides. So for this equation right over here, to get rid of the radical, I'd want to square both sides of it. If I square both sides, the left-hand side will become 3x plus 25. And the right-hand side, if I square this, is going to be what? It's going to be d squared plus 4, 4dx plus x squared. So that's just squaring both sides of this. But notice, you actually, there's actually a different equation than this one that if you squared both sides, you would also get this. What is that different equation? Well, the different equation is if you took the negative of one of these sides. So for example, if you, had, if you started the original equation, the negative square root of 3x plus 25 plus 25 is equal to d plus 2x. You square both sides of this, you still get this purple equation. Because you square a negative, you get a positive. So both of them, when you square both sides, get us, get us over here. And so when you solve this purple equation, this is, a, this is a quadratic right over here. You just rearrange it a little bit. You get into standard quadratic form. You'll get two solutions. And it turns out one of the solutions is going to be for this yellow equation, and one of the solutions is going to be for the purple equation. And if, if you, the, the, one, the, the solution that is for the purple equation is going to be an extraneous solution for the yellow equation. It's actually not going to be a solution for the yellow equation. So when they say which value for d makes x equals negative 3 an extraneous solution for this yellow equation, that's the same thing as saying what value of d makes x equals negative 3 a solution for this. So a solution, a solution for this. If it's a solution for this, it's going to be an extraneous solution for that. Because these are two different equations. We have, this is, we're taking the negative of just one side of this equation to get this one. If you took the negative of both sides of this, then that becomes the same thing. Because you could multiply both sides of an equation times a negative value. So a solution for this, which is equivalently a solution, which is equivalent to a solution if I, instead of putting the negative on the left-hand side, if I multiplied the right-hand side by the negative. But anyway, let's think about which value for d makes x equals negative 3 a solution for this. Well, let's substitute x equals negative 3 here, and then we just have to solve for d. If x equals negative 3, this is going to be negative the square root of 3 times negative 3 is negative 9, plus 25 is equal to d. 2 times negative 3 is negative 6, so d minus 6. And so now we can square both sides of, we can square, actually let, let's do it this way. We can, I don't want to square both sides because we lose some information. It's going to be the negative square root of negative 9 plus 25 is 16 is equal to d minus 6. So this is going to be equal to the neg, this is going to be equal to negative 4. Principal root of 16 is 4. We have the negative out front is equal to d minus 6. And then add 6 to both sides. You get 2 is equal to 2 is equal to d. So if d is equal to 2 here, if d is equal to 2, then a solution to this purple equation is going to be x equals negative 3. And so that would be an extraneous solution because if x equals negative 3 satisfies this over here, it's definitely going to satisfy this over here, but it's not going to satisfy this up here. And you could verify this. If this is equal to, if this is equal to 2, try out x equals negative 3. You're going to get, on the left-hand side, you're going to get 16. And on the right-hand side, you're going to get 2 minus 6, which is equal to negative 4. 2 minus 6, which is negative 4. So this does not work out. x equals negative 3 is not a solution to this. But it is a solution for this. And it is a solution to this quadratic right over here. So d equals 2 makes x equals negative 3 an extraneous solution for this equation.